Yeah, over here. Mickey Speed, what you were saying? Yeah, boy. I never played that. They look by rare. I always find that interesting. Yeah. Remember when developers can make everything like two games a year? Oh yeah, those were the days like when games didn't take that long to, or didn't take as long to make as they do now. I was like that was that was fantastic. Oh no, I, I lost track of myself. I'm just gonna. I remember this one giving me some grief. What the heck? I totally flamed you. Hey. Snowmobiles. Actually, that's a good question. You break if you go down on the ground and charge at the snowmobile, snowmobiles themselves as a count? Uh, I can try that. Oh yeah, that counts. I can barely. Bag damn it. Uh, I don't like doing that because I can barely keep track of my of myself. It works though. I could probably charge through this. Um, well, not this part. You'd have to be a lot of hard turns. Yeah. I mean, we might get lucky, but... <laughs> okay, that, doing anything. That, that was just, Yeah, that was kind of bad on my part. Yeah, they're just kind of chilling. We're just killing these guys. Now, what do they ever do to us? They exist. <laughs> they exist in the... Uh, the fodder for our completion. I don't know. I'm uh, gonna go the opposite way, I guess. Oh. Oh, they count as separate parts of it. Yeah. I see. Oh, wow, I'm bad. I'm so bad. Yeah, we didn't get it. Alright, let's try that again. So I'm, I'm just gonna do do the route we just took. And then... Loop around and get these guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that was any faster. <laughs> Can you think of any ways you'd want them to fix the uh, speedways? Uh, I mean, you could definitely fix them. I'm just not sure if it'd be. Not sure if you can do still kind of completely reworking some of the design, level design for some of them. Yeah. I guess you could just make it more lenient with the time. That's oh, you. Yeah, that was oh. oh, that would certainly help me. Yeah, I can't really think of much else. Like, uh, maybe I'm too- maybe I expect too much of an actual remake, because they're just- they're just supposed to remake it, but... Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't- I mean, I'm okay with them. I'm okay with developers taking a hatch to hold things every once in a while. I think I messed up. Like, I won't- I personally won't shed any tears if they retool these levels. Yeah. I mean, like, uh... Alesis probably would be upset, but <laughs> screw them. <laughs> like, sometimes change is good. Uh, I'm kind of losing track of this. I completely forgot what the route was. Yeah, these guys are just hanging out. What are we doing? <laughs> Man. Like I 
I said earlier, who's the who's the real villain? I don't even think these guys are just associated with Rifto <laughs> Yeah, they're just here. They're not even trying to attack me. <laughs> man. Oh gosh, man, now we're gonna now but to start creating headcanons as far as a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dang it! That's gonna cost me. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I'm just gonna restart. Restart. Oh, man. I remember why this, this one gave me grief now. These guys aren't doing anything, we're just killing them. <laughs> This is literally just a vacation spot that we decided to turn into target practice. Yeah, pretty much. Would you would you want to see like uh for Spyro like after reignited like um um, I'm glad to see. But I mean, what I'd like to see is that a Dragon Fly remake that makes it, you know, finishes what it was supposed to do. Yeah, that would be so, nice. Yeah, like take, you know, get the level, remake the level, you know, all nine of them, and actually finish it. <laughs> yeah, but I can ask Nork and actually make a plot like it was supposed to be. Yeah, because that, that was supposed to be like ninety or so. Uh, dragonflies instead of like what we got, and um, there are supposed to be so many more levels, and I still didn't get the uh, time. Wait, what did I get it? I can't tell. He had to get, got finished it under one minute and 15 seconds after like under 115. Yeah, oh, okay. You're almost there. So, like, I do, like that's the dream scenario. Yeah. My other dream scenario is that they just go back to the classic timeline and mm. just pretend that they've always been doing stuff. <laughs> like just, like, just like, cut to like, uh, was it was a lot was the last original series game like. Was that Hero's Tower? Shadow Legacy, which... Shadow Legacy. Shadow Legacy is actually the last one, which I'm not sure my people played that one, like... Uh. That one actually ended on a cliffhanger, so... Oh. Uh, what was that for, for? The DS. Okay. It wasn't so... even a platformer, it was like a, an action RPG. Oh, that's interesting. I never hear anyone talk about that one. I mean, it was a... I don't think it got advertised. I didn't know about it until years after it had come out. I swear I remember seeing that on TV a few times. Like, I mean, they rebooted to The Legend of Spire, like, just a year after, like, that was... Yeah. Like, I'm not even sure how that works. Yeah. Legend of Spire had to have been in development for, like, at least a year and a half. Uh. So... Either this... the developers didn't get the memo, or Sierra slash Universal didn't care. <laughs> oh, oh what's this... that? You're making a uh, game of Cotton Series for Cliffhanger? Yeah, it's okay, we're gonna continue it, sure. Yeah, boy. We're totally not gonna make a whole new timeline or anything like that. So, oh, come on. Um, make a new one in the classic timeline, I don't know, do some, I don't know, jump ahead. Shadow like, like, I don't know. <laughs> Explain Shadow Legacy with a time comic, I don't know. Yeah. I finally did that. We just need to do the Hunter minigame. Or oh, actually, you see Hunter. Oh, I... That was easy. Good yeah. Job, that is kind of a little bit cryptic. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to know that. And it took me ages to figure that out. Like, you're supposed to head. You're supposed to charge into the igloo. Great! I'll tow you behind my snowmobile and you maneuver through the ring. Don't miss any Why through my rings? Alright, go a place with Man 64. Always. This is actually, this whole game is just actually just a PS1 port of Superman 64. <laughs> I 
PlayStation Jaws or Nintendo. Indeed. Um, so yeah, I don't know, we'll, uh, resume the classic timeline, because there's actually some good stuff there, the movies after the trilogy. Yeah. Do you think they should do anything with Legend of Spyro, or just keep that as its own thing? Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind that just returning, because I think that, what, what, I, think that I think that has some untied some loose ends as well. I think fans deserve to have that resolved. Mm. And I, I hate seeing stuff get cancelled before it's time. Yeah. I mean, there's like theories of like the end of Legend of Spyro starts Skylanders, so take that, take that as you will. Hey! And fan theories, like, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Skylanders operates under the assumption that all the Spyro games are canon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if Red Knight does well, they'll probably just stick with the original series for a while. The thing is, Activision is big enough that they could support multiple Spyro sub-series. Yeah. But I don't want it to become a situation- Oh my goodness, I'm doing bad. Uh, I don't want it to become an issue of, like, them just wanting to pump out, uh, Spyro and uh, by extension Crash games on like a yearly basis and because of that they end up being rushed and not as good as they could be. I mean that's their natural stage, so let's, let's not lie to ourselves. Yeah. Ooh, yeah that was goodness gracious. And that's kind of, I, from what I understand that's one of the reasons why Crash fell because like they constantly kept on trying to make games Every year? Why am I doing so bad at this? Uh, every year. I'm just screwing with you. Yeah. They, like, they tried making Crash games, like, almost every year or whatever, and it, uh, ended up making the games... That was just my fault. <laughs> uh, making the games get rushed, and, uh, you know, the series ended up having to get, uh, it co cost its life for quite a while. And you know Spyro to, yeah. to, to a degree because Skylanders barely counts. He was on life support, if anything. Spyro was yearly up to the version of Spyro. Yeah. The thing is, the sad thing about Enter the Dragonfly is they already had a Spyro game released in 2002. <laughs> they were going to have one. <laughs> Season of Flame also came out that year. It came out after Enter the Dragonfly, actually. Mm. They could have. Universal could have literally just had that be their yearly Spyro game and then given the developers more time. Yeah. So they certainly needed it. Even uh -huh. six more months would have at least made it at least left a mess. Yeah. Uh, what game is this? What game is this? Spyro 2. No, no, I mean oh, like the one you were talking about. Season of Flame on the Game Boy Advance. Okay. That was already at RE. That came out in 2002 also, so Enter the Dragonfly didn't really have to come out in 2002. <laughs> yeah. I've heard like the Enter the Dragonfly developers never even made a game before. <laughs> First and last game. Cause like, you totally wanna make, get like guys uh, t uh, who never made a game before to make a sequel to a beloved PS1 trilogy. Like that's totally what you wanna do. <laughs> Finally, that I don't know why I was, that was taking me fifty years. Way to go, Spyro! You're even better than I am. Even though I fell like twenty times. <laughs> hey, all right. No good. Here we're gonna leave. No, uh, but yeah. For that, I think we're just gonna head up. Head off to fight Gulp. Oh, What's good. That, that Dang. Yeah, you're just gonna say the same thing. You'll have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto. Yeah, also for some reason the sound cut out on my end. Oh. I tamed a few pterodactyls from Skilo's yeah, battle. Sound cut out. I'm gonna hang up and come back into the call. Oh. 
Nope. Oh, go be quick. We finally made Avalar ours. <laughs> you earned this special reward. Ow. So, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. <laughs> you singed my cape. Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Nice jump. Say goodbye, flame brim. Go. Lunch time. Go. Finish him off and you can have all the berries you can eat. I'm going to enjoy this. No. <laughs> I like how the game like decides to just make those little images. Okay, so there's actually uh, two skill points in this. The uh, the first one is like like the like the uh, spike, uh, not spike, uh, crush. Uh, this cr the crush boss where you, you uh, be it without taking a taking a hit. Same deal here, but there's also another one where if you hit Repto, uh, you get a skill point that way as well. So I'm gonna wait for like a rocket to appear so I can just use that, unless I just get barrels. Yeah, this, this boss is actually pretty difficult and it goes on for quite a while, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the no damage skill point in this. We might have to wait until post-game for me to be able to do that, because if you fail, if you fail that while trying to fight the boss normally, that's like a good mi like couple minutes uh, you've wasted, and I don't want to be here all day. And they're not giving me a thing I want. There we go. Be careful as well. Go, go do this quickly. Oh, I can completely miss. Oh wait. Oh, okay. No, Rip Rip just happy I got here. All right, let's just go over here. Can you not? <laughs> hey. There we go. Alright. Now I'm just gonna kill myself so I can get a second chance. Because I wanna at least try to do this. Yeah, what's your opinion on uh, this fight? <laughs> I guess. It's good. Uh, and I don't much. Uh, excuse me, I don't have. I don't have much to complain about in terms of the boss fights for this game. Yeah. <clears throat> the only thing I will say is that, um... This and Ripto... Uh, Ripto fight... I really do like the Ripto fight, but if I could say anything about that and this boss, they go on for a bit too long. That's, that's understandable. Um... It's a, I'm fine with the lane, but the skill points just make it a little more hard. Yeah, this is why I, I'm, I'm only gonna give it like, I'll give it an honest attempt, but if I get hit, then I'm just gonna move on, because uh, the uh, post-game reward makes this so much easier. And I'm, that's cutting it way too close. I don't... That's gonna probably hit me if I try doing that. Nope. Man. Kind of a shame that... Ah, oh, the, those attacks make me so nervous. What? Hmm? What's kind of a shame? Um, I, I was gonna say, like, it's kind of a shame uh, that Gulp and Crush don't really do. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I don't really do much in Enter the Dragonfly, but I was gonna say, it's a shame we didn't get a lot of things in that game. Yeah, hit your butt. Can I get it? Get more dialogue in Enter the Dragonfly than they do in the 
in this game. Yeah. Well, I mean, this in this game, they're like... They're meant to be, like, really stupid. <laughs> So I guess uh, by the time, like, the time between this game and Enter the Dragonfly, they at least become smart enough to be able to speak properly, I suppose. But yeah, I like I like the fact that he, he tries to use the the things against you, the same you're doing to him, and. That kind of boss is, is something I always enjoy. It's like, you're both using the same kind of things. Yeah. Two more hurts. Hmm. Having a lot of technical errors today. Having a lot of technical issues. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have to keep on pausing when I leave. I just, I'm just, i just trying to get the music playing again. Uh, well, I, I do that because I, I, I need to uh, like have the call cool, uh, replay uh, or like activate. Oh, that's not fair. fair. It'll be funny if that, that just killed him. <laughs> Oh, come on. I think this music is actually public domain. Yeah. Isn't, like... Isn't the, uh, Ripto boss in Rent of the Dragonfly, like, a remix of this theme? Or, like, one I, of the I bosses never, in this? I never got... I never got... I never beat up to the Dragonfly, so I never got uh, that far. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, like, if you find a glitch, you can just, like... Glitch into the boss arena. You you only get like a like the first part of the of the boss day, but still technically there, I guess. I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto, and since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you really miss being on vacation, hey Lord. we really want to no. do something nice for you. <laughs> Not much, but we hope you like it. Wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Oh, hi, uh, hey, Joey. Where did Laura go? I better follow her. <laughs> I like how she she just said like she needed to like do something or whatever about the professor, the <laughs> and then this power crystal as far as immediately like the where'd she go? Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent! Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. Hi. Seizure again. So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, not I'm really. afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick! The power a few bomb. <laughs> Don't even try it, little boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something quick. Uh, hey, give that back. Well, I tried. You little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia!
Right. Okay, that time the internet cut out. What? That time the internet did just cut out. Oh. Okay. Spyro, Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. If you can collect enough orbs, you'll be able to get the power crystal back from Ripto, and we can send you to Dragon Shores. Yeah, the place we wanted to go to at the start of the game. It's all going full circle, but uh... Yeah, we're just gonna pay money bags and get our last well, ability. It comes down to this, there's only one more thing I can teach you, and like all the best things, it doesn't come cheap. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, then press the triangle button. Triangle button. <laughs> You'll find the head bash may help you out on some tasks that were impossible before. Remember, just jump, then triangle. Good luck. And now we can go back to Awesome Plains. Oh, man. I missed all the good stuff, didn't I? Uh, Ripto got a few bomb. Because <laughs> apparently it's not, he doesn't think to use the plural. Um, and, um, Moneybags got, uh, owned again. Besides that, not much, really. Laura said that the people of Avalar are finally getting, are finally getting along. I guess, does she not know Spyro helped fa facilitate a war between two realms? Two worlds. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do Shady Oasis first. Is it this one? Yeah. Uh, I like an eagle. But like... That, that was kind of, I, I kind of want to, like, I'll, I'll probably make a big run about Rin, uh, Rinto, that's a character, uh, in the next, in the next session, because, um, I don't want to just gloss over it, uh, now, because I, I need to, like, actually formulate my thoughts on this properly before I get into this, but, if I can say one thing, the game did a horrible job in making you think that Ripto died or whatever. It's like... That was just... There's no way. You can't expect us to think that he was done after that. Extra life suckers. Yeah, boy. Oh my gosh, if he had actually come out of the bond and start saying that one, I forgive everything. <laughs> I mean... No, no, I, I. This is like, eh, what, a twenty-year-old game or something, uh, but. Oh gosh, dang, we're old. Yeah, when did this game come out? Nineteen ninety-nine. Man. No, I mean it's getting there. It's like eighteen years now. Older. Game is older than the PlayStation Two, obviously. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, Older Mario Tennis and Banjo Tooie. <laughs> oh dang, Banjo Kazooie is 20 years old. <laughs> yeah, that was like 97 or 96? 98. 98. 98. Okay. And uh, Tori was 2000, right? Yes. Right. Hmm. Oh, oh man. I remember I had some VHS promotional video for VHS promotional video. VHS promotional VHS for Majora's Mask. <laughs> that would not work on my regular on my family's regular VHS. And that apparently has a sneak peek for Banjo 2 Wii. Hmm. 
hint, hint, uh, go, uh, sh shameless plug, rather, uh, go watch, go watch my, uh, full, uh, Banji Tori playthrough, uh, here on my channel. <laughs> I still th I think it holds up, uh, I, I, I think it was, like, I think I did it in, like, 2014 or something, but I honestly think it's one of the best playthroughs I've done. What, isn't there, a isn't there somewhere you can go? Through that exit? Uh, I think so. I don't know if I've killed enough enemies though. Can see. Yeah, okay, we're good. Hopefully, this is a we need for gems. No, we're missing something. Very good. Uh, let's just take care of this first. My eight brothers have been trapped in rock and will sink in the lava if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping, then pressing triangle, and follow my lead. Follow me, and remember, jump, and then press triangle to head bash. Alright, this isn't too, this isn't really too difficult. You just have to not dawdle. Because it looks tight, but it really isn't. And we're good. <laughs> I have a big family, but you've managed to save all of them. Take this thing too. I'm too tired to carry it anymore. Alright, let's see where the gems are now. Wait, we didn't get I don't remember, did we actually get the mystery jar? No, we did not. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about that. Alright. Yeah, that, that, okay, that, that's my bad. <laughs> I can't fault the game for that. <sighs> What's your opinion on mystery jars, eh? I think we, I think we said everything we need to say about the last session. Yeah, I'm just, try, yeah, I'm, I, I'm trying to like think of like things to say because like we've already been through this stage. Where's it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, I remember what happened. I, I got confused. I got sidetracked by the thieves because I thought one looked like one of them, and then I just and you broke you broke the jar when you were trapped. When at the, around the same time you defeated the last thief, so it didn't show you where the jar went. Yeah, yeah, that happened as well. I don't know if that just glitched it out because it ne it just never showed us. Yeah, a torture bot take notes if that ever happens. Yeah, because you need to know where I'm supposed to uh, end up. So where am I going from here? Hmm. I think I should be able to like loop around somehow. Okay, now I'm back at the end. Uh Go back.
Um, let's first see here. Go around here. I just realized this whole level, I guess, the elevating spiral. I think so. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There we go. Nice. Oh man, okay. Now I have to play everyone's favourite level properly now. Uh, right, how are we doing for time? Hour and seventeen. Uh, 